in this video I want to prove the well-known quadratic formula uh, which looks like this and uh, this is one of the formulas which is very useful when you can't uh, it's difficult to put them into uh, brackets okay so what do I mean so before I prove this I want to explain one type of factorization so that uh, you understand what I mean okay so let's take a very simple example before we move on to the this formula okay so let's take an example a very simple example x squared plus 4x minus 6 equal to 0 now yeah by just looking at minus 6 and 4 you can't find the two factors of negative 6 that gives you 4 so you have to use this formula so instead of using this formula I want to do this using completing square method so I'm going to write this as x squared plus 4x is equal to 6. So what I've done is I've added 6 to both sides. So, sorry, 4x here. So x squared plus 4x plus something here is equal to 6. Now, now to make the left-hand side a perfect square, uh, what should I add here to make the, this a perfect square? Perfect square means to to complete a square or to make a perfect square I am going to write a 4 here so I know the two factors of 4 which gives you 4 is 2 and 2 so this becomes a perfect square or this is a perfect square of x plus 2 so if I add 4 on this side I would also add 4 to this side so this is called completing square method so this becomes x plus the left hand side becomes x plus 2 the whole squared is equal to 10 Okay, so now if I take square root of both sides, I can say x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 10. And x is equal to, now taking away 2 from both sides, is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 10. So this is the exact answer, or this is the exact solution of this quadratic equation. So basically, I'm going to use the same formula to prove this. Okay, now the general form of a quadratic equation is, well, ax squared plus bx plus c. This is the general form of any quadratic equation where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be zero. Okay, so you know this, a, b, c are real numbers or belongs to r. This is a mathematical way of writing it and a should not be zero. So this is the condition of a quadratic equation so what I'm going to do the next step is I'm going to divide the whole thing by a so if you divide this by a and whatever you do to all and both terms both sides is acceptable so this becomes x squared plus b over a x plus c over a is equal to 0 Okay, so I'm going to move this to the other side or taking away c over c divided by a to both sides. So this becomes x squared plus b over ax. I'm going to leave a space here. Is equal to minus c over a. To make this completing, uh, to make this a perfect square, the technique of writing this number is basically to halve this number and then square it and write this. Or can you see this is this is nothing but 2 squared. So the technique of writing this number is just to halve this and then square it. So using the same technique, I'm going to halve this. So this is b over, let me use a different color. I'm going to write in red. So this is plus, the half of this is b over 2a. So I'm going to square that. So b over 2a, the whole squared. So if I add b over 2a the whole square to this side, I should add the same thing to the other side, b over 2a the whole squared. Okay, so now what will happen? So this will become, this is this will become a perfect square of x plus b over 2a the whole squared is equal to, let me write this first, so this is b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. 
Okay, so I want to make this, uh, if I want to make this 4a squared, I have to multiply the denominator by 4a, but also multiply the numerator by 4a. So the next step would look like this. So this is x plus b over 2a, the whole squared is equal to, uh, can I write like this, b squared minus 4ac over 4 4a squared because both the denominator this is 4a squared and this is also 4a squared so if i take the square root of both sides i can say x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared now 4a squared is a perfect square, so that can come outside. Uh, so let me do one more step. So this is b over x plus b over 2a plus or minus. You can do the, take the square root of the numerator and the denominator. b squared minus 4ac over square root of 4a squared. Okay, so this is equal to, okay. So we're almost there, so this is x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So now taking away b over 2a from both sides, we get the solution b x is equal to minus b over 2a plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now both the denominators has got 2a and this is the well-known formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay and this is called the quadratic formula which you, helps you to solve any quadratic equation uh, if a is not zero.